Hey guys, in honor of World Mental Health Day and the theme of dignity and mental health, I am here with a very special and extremely dignified guest. Glenn Close! Well, not that dignified. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to deal with that stigma, the stigma of being dignified? The stigma of being dignified, yeah. Yeah, I suppose, I, you know, when I, I've played a lot of very kind of powerful and scary characters, so people think that's what I'm like. Yeah, but, but that's not really what she's not. like, right? <laughs> no. Well, we'll find out by the end of this video. <laughs> Now the reason Glenn's here with us today guys is that she actually founded and started a mental health organization called Bring Change to Mind, which is all about eradicating mental health stigma. Can you tell us a little bit about Bring Change to Mind and your mission and its goals? Yes, yes. I started it because my sister Jessie, who lives with bipolar disorder, and her son Kalen, who has schizoaffective disorder or is a form of schizophrenia, came to me and, and asked for my help and all of a sudden it was such a no-brainer for me um, because it's all about family. So I've learned about it because of what my sister and my nephew have gone through. But now you learn, I mean, I know that my grandmother had, had depression. My mother was depressed. It's, it goes through the family. I have like a low-grade depression that I you know that I'm aware of and I get medication for. All of the French are depressed. That's why they came <laughs> up with like existentialism. I mean, you know, I think we're all a little bit depressed. That's fine. <laughs> now, Bring Change to Mind is all about eradicating stigma. And for me, I always like to think of and define stigma as the fear of not understanding something. Tell me a little bit about your experience with stigma and Bring Change to Mind's mission around stigma. I think stigma is anything that marks somebody as different, that marks somebody as being somebody to be afraid of, somebody not to talk to, somebody that's, that's different. If I feel that about somebody, it's my ignorance. I'm not seeing the person, I'm seeing what I think that person is. And the thing that my nephew has taught us is that a, a certain look that you can have if you are dealing with certain kinds of mental illness, we take as being uh, aggressive or we get frightened by it and we're afraid to, to start a conversation with that person. And my nephew said, it's that person being terrified of the world. Of. and it just totally turned me around because I think we can misread expressions in people's faces and what I thought was was something f to be frightened of it was the absolute opposite he was terrified of me and of being you know in a in company of people yeah tell me a little bit more about what bring change to mind is doing this year uh, to help erase mental health stigma we are doing two really exciting pioneer projects, one in a university. We have a campus-wide competition for campaigns around stigma and mental health. Then the, the campaigns that are chosen get rolled out across the campus, so you actually try them out, see how it works, all peer-to-peer. -peer. Oh, wonderful. And then it goes into a college toolbox kit that we're going to build over the last next four years that then we can tell other universities, this is how we changed it, this is how we made the uh, Indiana University is safe and stigma-free zone. Then um, we have uh, these clubs on, in, that are starting in 27 high schools in Northern California. It's called Let's Erase the Stigma, and it's again establishing in high schools a place where kids can start the conversation and feel safe about it. And I think that's something that's really exciting kind of about the era that we're living in is that there is real hope for life uh, with mental illness. I like to think that we're heading towards a better direction, but to head in that better direction, we need to make sure that we're having clear, decisive conversations about these things. We need to start, and this is what Bring Change to Mind is doing, starting a grassroots movement where people are saying, we're going to talk about it, we're going to demand change, and it's your generation that's going to do it. Hey guys. Yeah. I think that that is a great note to take away from this. It all begins with conversation and education. And frankly, I'm an internet kid. I'm talking to my internet family. <laughs> we know how to have conversations and how to educate each other. And from there, we can do really powerful work. So thank you so much, Glenn. Thank it's you. really been great. Thanks for making the time. If you guys want to find out more about Glenn's work uh, and the work of Bring Change to Mind, go ahead and check out bringchangetomind.org or follow them on Twitter and Facebook and all those good social media goodies. Um, and start the conversation here. The comment section is a mm. wonderful place. Have a great, Have a great day. day. Hey! <laughs> That's starting to look really good. <laughs>